Whilst watching this video, you might be thinking, Wow, this is the worst theory on how the Master came back. Well, it probably is, but it's also the only theory on how the Master came back. Now, sure, there are other theories out there, but there are no videos on this. I'm the only one I've checked. Trust me, okay, you, you don't have to look it up, you can just take my word for it. So, really, this is the best theory on how the Master came back by default. So, suck on that, haters. Dab. Yeah, yeah, I'm very epic, if you couldn't tell. I've got a 98% on pay prio, I'm a pro pay prio player. Like, I'd like to see you get 100%. Okay, you've probably stopped watching the video now, I'm just gonna play the theory thing. After the premiere of Doctor Who Series 12, I've had this one question going through my head and I think most people who saw the episode are also thinking the same question and that is, how is the Master back? If you've seen the finale of Series 10, you know that the Master, known as Missy at the time, was killed and could no longer regenerate which led people to assume that this Master is a past version before Missy. But I don't think that's the case for a few reasons. One of them being is that it would mean that the Master would know about the Doctor's future, but Missy never mentions any of the events to the Doctor. Also, it being a past version could convolute the timeline, so I think it would be better if this Master came after Missy, but the question still remains, how is the Master back? Well, I don't know much about Classic Who, but I do know that the Master would just come back from things that would supposedly kill him without any explanation to how he survived, which could be the case of what's going to happen here, since we only had about 5 minutes of screen time with the Master in this episode, so we could get an explanation in the next episode episode, but I've got what I think is a pretty good theory, so I'm just going to get this video out before the second episode comes out and possibly makes this entire theory pointless. So anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into this theory. In the episode where the Master Game is Missy, the Master was stabbed, and given the fact that he probably wasn't paying much attention to killing Missy and stopping her regenerations, because I think it's been said before that you have to concentrate on what you want to do with the Sonic Screwdriver and it'll do just that, so I believe the same rule would also apply to the laser screwdriver so if it does then there is a chance that Missy could regenerate and she does but it didn't do it properly and the next regeneration is deformed and is now difficult for the master to live in this new body but he manages to leave the ship that they were in and gets to earth where he meets O on his first day of work and was able to become him physically which is letting him live and the reason he's kept O's body so when the disguise starts wearing off he can use his DNA to re create the disguise, kind of like what Barty Crouch Jr. Um, was doing with Mad Eye Moody in Goblet of Fire. The main reason I think this theory is plausible and makes sense is because you see the Master coughing like he's ill or something which, which you could say is because he was running, but he would have been coughing like that before then. and. But he wasn't because I think it's because the disguise is wearing off and he's turning back into his deformed body, which could mean he has breathing problems. Now, the Master only says um, he keeps him close to his heart, which isn't plural, and if you don't know, Time Lords have two hearts and the Master is a Time Lord, so he should have said hearts, but he didn't, which for me implies that he's in human form with only one heart, but then again he points in the wrong place for where the heart should be, so maybe his defect is that he only has one heart and it's on the right side. He could also have weak lungs as well since he was coughing. This is just something that I thought of when watching the scene for the second time. I could be completely wrong since we do see such Sasha... Sasha... Dawan, I've, I've probably said that completely wrong. But anyway, we see him in the next time trailer, so I could be wrong there. But in a leaked image, we do see him in what looks like in a TARDIS control room where he's lying on the ground. This could be because he's become weaker and can't stand properly and will then take an e-form, which we won't know what it will be, be which will leave us guessing throughout the rest of the series, making us suspicious of every new character we meet. Or maybe he takes the form of a companion. Who knows? Then again, I could be completely wrong and they explain everything in the next episode and it's nothing like what I've said. Or maybe they don't explain anything at all. I guess we'll have to find out in the next episode. Shrek, Shrek, yo, what's your favourite cuisine? I eat frogs and bugs and dung beetle pie. Sometimes I eat my snot and I don't know why. Give me mud, be my bud, but don't mean no dud. I be rocking this vest cause I'm original stud. 